Relationship building is one of the most important things that we do with all of our animals here. It's the first step to everything, and if you don't have that, then um, you don't really have a foundation. I'm Tanya. I am a senior zoologist in the upper wilds of Africa. I feel very fortunate to have been able to work with Boy Polo since the start, and she's, of course, without a doubt, one of my favorite animals here at the Dallas Zoo. My name is Brendan. I'm a senior zoologist here in the upper wilds of Africa. I am lucky enough I get to work with a baby hippo nearly every day. We train the hippos at least twice a day. All of the animals pretty much here at the Dallas Zoo are trained in some aspect. We do that for general welfare and care of the animals. Of course, it is a very important part of their care. We've begun the process of training our year-old baby hippo recently. Uh, there's a lot of challenges with training a new animal that is reliant on its mother, as Adana has been for the first year of her life. Getting a hippo to be motivated is not always an easy task. All we can do is be encouraging and very positive with our interactions and our rewards that we give her. When she doesn't want to do something, there's nothing you can do to make her. The more time you spend with them, the more they know you and your voice and your emotions and your actions. The very beginning was a lot of behavior building to realize hey, I can trust these people and they have something very good I like. And she slowly realized when she looked our direction, she got a reward. Uh, we also did name recognition for potential recall with her so that when we call her, she knows her name and she comes to us. They are what we call protected contact animals, so we do not go in with them at all. That being said, it is a little challenging uh, for training purposes. The animal has to be able to trust us for us to be able to manipulate her tail, her feet. How we gain the trust of specifically hippos is we spend a lot of time with them, working with them, just feeding them. So when we have free time, we'll just come and sit with them and talk to them and we'll feed them lettuce or some alfalfa hay and just spend a lot of time with them, kind of like you would with your animals at home. It is understood um, between the hippo and the trainer that if the behavior is done, then they get a reinforcer, which is usually food. Donna has her favorite. She really loves lettuce. She really loves the melons. Uh, she prefers if we cut the rinds off at this point because her teeth are still coming in. Hippos are herbivores, which means they eat plants. I'm Carrie Slivka. I'm the nutritionist here at the Dallas Zoo. Our hippos are fed a pelleted diet, which provides all the nutrients that they need. They also get fruits and vegetables for training and for enrichment, and you'll see that in the hippo talks. And then they also get hay, usually coastal hay, which is a grass hay, and it provides a lot of the bulk for their diet. They've got a compartmentalized stomach like a giraffe, but they don't have all the specialized chambers and they don't chew their cud, but they are designed to handle a large amount of food. Well, we got our main storage cooler here. I'm an archive volunteer at the ANC and other parts of the zoo. Mm. Hey, honeydew. She gets one and one quarter honeydews on the diet. And the trick is putting them all in the box. Because of the shape of lettuce, I find it works best if I bricklay it. So we've got 11 heads of romaine, one and one quarter honeydews, two and one half cooked sweet potatoes. We steam those so they're mushy for them. One and one quarter apples. And that's the hippo diet there. With the situation with COVID and our zoo was closed, we've been able to spend even more time observing them without the public. But it's been amazing watching the calf really shine in this time as well. I always think of it as, you know, a little toddler behind the mom's knee. That same thing with the hippos. She was always kind of back at that back leg for a while. Um, and now she's just really looking forward to coming over and, and spending time with us. Over the last four months, roughly, she's been all over the exhibit without mom. We are taking advantage of her comfortability with us and with her surroundings to work on separation training. We are trying to get her as far away as she is comfortable to continue to work and stay engaged with her trainers so that we can separate her and mom for any reason if we need to examine mom and not have the baby there or if we need to examine her without mom present. Literally, hippo baby steps we move further and further every day. She's getting quite comfortable. She's learned a lot. She trains side by side with mom. Boy Polo has been an amazing mother being able to watch her develop over these years. She's beautiful. Her personality is beautiful. Um, a lot of people don't really see that, but 
with her training routine and to be able to come a mom and see how that has changed her for the better has been pretty amazing. A career at the Dallas Zoo is very rewarding. It's a job I've always wanted where I wake up every morning and I'm happy to be here. Not a lot of people can say that, especially these days. So truly grateful and humbled I get to work with these animals every day and the joy they bring you and the satisfaction they give you uh, knowing you're helping them out is really unbeatable.